If you're painting with watercolors, you'll want to make sure you're using watercolor paper because it has sizing, which makes it more resistant to liquids. Papers are usually sized by gelatin. It allows for more color and reworking, but can also make brush strokes difficult to see, so you want to sponge off or prepare your paper before using it. There are three basic surfaces to paper. There's hot pressed, which has a smoother texture, cold pressed, which is also sometimes called knot, which has a texture to it, and rough, which is very textured. Cold pressed is more traditional, but hot pressed is also really nice if you want to add a lot of fine details. The thickness of the paper also matters, and this is referred to in pounds or grams per square meter. Generally, the higher the number, the thicker and more durable the paper. It's usually made by either wood pulp or 100% cotton, also called 100% rag. Cotton paper Paper is more pricey, but it's a higher quality and allows for better lifting and layering. If your paper doesn't say 100% cotton, that means it's made from wood pulp, which is cheaper, but it's also unforgiving and more difficult to work with. And that's today's tip. See you tomorrow!